All right, this is Coffee Chug, and I'm here today to show you how to turn your iPad into a microscope. I did not create this idea. I'm just simply sharing it with my... This idea has been around. Some people claim they created it. Um, I'm not claiming I created it. I'm just going to show you how I did it. So you can see what I have here is a little tiny microscope. Literally costs under two dollars. I'll post a link on Amazon of where you can buy it because obviously price is going to change from time to time. Um, I just happen to have one sitting around my nerd cave, and I found it when I was decluttering the chaos that I have. You're going to need a half inch grommet, um, so I bought this back here, a pair of two. Um, the grommet is actually already on my micro microscope right there, and you're going to need some super glue. You don't need four tubes. I just happened to buy this pack because it was the cheapest. The first step is really really simple. You're going to take your rubber grommet, which I have right here, and it's going to fit right around my iPad case. And so I'm not going to glue this to my iPad because I don't want to, but this will be what you super glue. Um, obviously, if you read anything or Google search, nail polish will take it right off if need be. Um, but you just put a little bit of super glue around that, that grommet, let it dry, and we'll go on to the next step. So we'll go ahead and do that now. All right, so you can see that I got that... Uh, right there on the lens. I'm just going to let that dry a little bit. And while that's drying, I'll show you what will happen. So we're going to take this part of the microscope, obviously not this end piece, because that's what you're going to hold it up to and it gives you some light. But that's going to fit right into the grommet. That's what's going to hold it in. And then you'll be set to turn your iPad into a microscope. And we'll go ahead and show you some things here in just a minute. But let me go ahead and let this dry. The microscope, once you have it placed in the ground and it holds it pretty tight, is that you can go ahead and adjust your zoom and your magnification as well as, you know, get some good good quality views. Um, once you have it on there, then you just turn on your, your camera on your iPad and you can start to uh, either shoot video or pictures. I think this is the great beauty of it is that it's literally a under $5 microscope. 45 times magnification, so it's not outstanding, but it's enough if you're doing elementary or middle school work. And they can document as a video or a picture. And from there, you know, then you can get into different apps where they can dub their voice, create, create presentations. So there's a whole other level of enhancement that they can show for their science exploration and other activities that they weren't able to do with a regular microscope when they couldn't capture what, it, what exactly they were looking at. You know, back in the days where we had a sketch what we could see. Now we can truly capture and get higher quality view, views with our photo and video to create high quality work. So this is an example um, of what you could see. What I have in here, this is a 3D printed uh, iPad stand of some octopus tentacles. So when we zoom that in, you can see the different fibers and it's really pretty exciting that you can't see this with you know the naked eye, but you can see how it was printed. Um, and there's just a lot you could do with this type of video, you know, so there's that. Um, if I do a picture frame I made here, you know, we could do Lego. Take a nice close look at that if we wanted. You know, so the possibilities with this are pretty endless. So here's the end of like a, a tool if I wanted to take a look at it. You know, so not too bad. Uh, it's, it's pretty darn cool what you can do. These are just some examples of how to make it. Obviously, you just pop the microscope off if you just want a regular view. And keep the grommet on. So right there is the iPad stand that I was zooming in earlier. And you're good to go. The grommet on the outside doesn't really bother things too much. So what I'd like for you is to go ahead and show me how you could use this in your class. Uh, some possibilities and ideas. And let's go ahead and uh, do some exploration. And I'm going to go off and see what I can develop uh, for our science curriculum here at our middle school. Have a great day. If you have any questions, leave some notes or feedback in the comments or reach out to me on social media.